Hey, what's up? It's Alex Bailey. I just wanted to say that the Manson murders never happened in 1969, and that Jay Sebring's, the famous hairdresser, was not a part of the Church of Satan, and he was actually Sharon Tate's lover. So when Roman Polanski was gone filming the movie The Day of the Dolphin, Sharon Tate and Jay Sebrings were together. There's a book called Helter Skelter that describes the girls from the Spawn Ranch walking in to the Tate residence and seeing Jay Sebrings and Sharon Tate on a bed together in their underwear. Now, usually former lovers don't hang out in a bed together in their underwear. If I hung out with one of my former lovers, on a bed in my underwear, I could only imagine what would happen. So, um, yeah, Jay Sebrings and Sharon Tate had twins. They had, they had two babies, and um, they never died. So, the Manson murders never happened. Charles Manson was a CIA operative. That was all a big distraction while our government um, was in San Salvador in South America stealing the indigo plant to dye the um, Levi blue jeans blue. Also, our government was stealing coffee beans and cocaine, all in San Salvador, and the, our Central Intelligence Agency started a covert operation war down there um, with the Sandinistas and the whatever. I wasn't there, but my friends from the CIA were there, so they told me the whole story. Okay, and if you want to question them and get mad at them for breaking their blood oath, well, you can't because they're already dead. So anyway, I never took any oath. I'm just here. I'm just you know, explaining that I've met, I personally have met and know one of the babies that was cut out of Sharon Tate, and it, this baby looks exactly like Jay Sebrings. So if someone wants to tell me I'm lying, they can just go to hell, okay? Until you meet a person who knows every single detail of the Manson case, like, for example, the baby told me that Roman Polanski had a zebra rug on a safari. And that, you know, basically during the Manson killings, the zebra rug was moved. So they had it afterwards. Now, these people from the Manson group were in a, they were in a, you know, a, basically an activist group called Attawa, Heirs, Trees, Water, and Animals. Now, supposedly Charles Manson was an environmental activist who started this group, but he used to wear leather, okay? No environmental activist who is, you know, a vegetarian, because supposedly Charles Manson was a vegetarian, um, wears leather. They don't wear leather, and um, near the San Susana stagecoach, there's a dry riverbed um, near Chatsworth. Well, and next to Chatsworth, there's a dry riverbed, and, um, you know, Charles Manson put, you know, some kind of vehicle on a dry riverbed. If you're an environmental activist, you don't put a vehicle on a dry riverbed. So he wasn't really an environmental activist. He was most likely a central intelligence um, operative, so a CIA operative. Charles Manson was. And uh, the Tate, Louis, LeBianca, um, Sebring's murders never actually took place. That was a secret operation in order um, you know, to do a mass takeover like what is being done right now. So during that takeover, you know, obviously I, I said that the indigo plant was taken in San Salvador. Um, the coffee bean was taken from San Salvador. The cocaine was taken from San Salvador. But the coffee was important because, um, you know, so was the indigo plant because you use the indigo to dye all the Levi jeans blue and everyone wears Levi blue jeans. So that's a big, big, big uh, money maker right there. But the coffee, um, you know, Folgers, was uh, taken over by the Central Intelligence Agency. And so was Kodak, I'm pretty sure too, after the war. So, because it used to be called Gath. But that's another story altogether. Wait a second. The viewfinder. Well, that actually, the viewfinder that came from Kodak was made by Robert Dowdery, who also, Robert, made the moon landing photos, the moon landing negatives that were fake. Those weren't real. And then also, um, Jay Sebrings and Sharon Tate's son have a picture with Pierre Plantard because that was his grandfather. Um, so somehow they're related to, I don't know how yet, I'll explain that later. Um, but that pen picture was taken in Pennsylvania near Bucks County in Beverly Hall. And um, that picture's background is fake and that picture was fabricated by Robert Dowdery, the same man who did the photos for the moon landing. 
All right, Rexamundi. Okay, Rexamundi in Latin means king of the world. I just said that for no reason. All right, anyway, um, you're probably wondering how I know so much. I can't tell you, sorry. Just know that Jay Sebrings and Sharon Tate were together and that they had a baby together. They had two babies and were twins and um, those murders never happened at all, okay? It's all a big Hollywood movie. They just made a movie called Once Upon a Time in Hollywood about it. At the end of the movie, guess what? The Manson family didn't actually kill the, you know, Sharon Tate in the movie, which is a very strange ending. But it never really happened. So it's like, okay. Man, people will believe anything they watch on television. So, you know, I don't, I don't want to have to expose people. But in that Grateful Dead documentary, Bob Weir married a 14-year-old girl. Okay. Papa John Phillips is a child molester too. The lead singer of Mamas and the Papas. His daughter wrote a book about, you know, the whole situation. So there's obviously something wrong in Hollywood. Just look at Corey Feldman. I'm friends with his brother Eden. Okay. So anyway, um, whatever. The Manson murders never happened. And the thing is, why would Charles Manson want to kill them? Seriously, think about it. Why would Charles Manson want to go kill Sharon Tate? Okay? Sharon Tate made a movie before she died called Eye of the Devil Exposing Illuminati Rituals. Jay Sebrings also was in the Church of Satan filming things that he shouldn't have been. And um, I'm pretty sure that Sammy Davis Jr. pulled off of the hood of um, Jay Sebrings' cloak and was surprised to see him. 